welcome to another Cat Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse, but my friends call me, um, well, they call me Jesse because <laughs> that's my name. This tech tip is going to be a follow-up to last week's tech tip. If you haven't seen Derek's tech tip from last week on reading zebra stripes and you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the link as you'll see show up in the bottom right hand corner and that will take you to that video and you can check that out I'll be right here waiting for you if you're on our website you can bump back one video check that out and come right on back in this tip we're going to talk about curvature continuity and I've got four examples to take a look at here with you guys now the first example is this guy here on the left I've got two curves that meet up at a hard seam our second example here is going to be two curves that meet up with a filleted corner the third example will be the same exact surface, but with a fit spline. This would be something like a curvature continuity. And the fourth option is going to be kind of that holy grail of C3 class A type surface. Now these four surfaces all look pretty similar, so let's kind of interrogate these a little bit and see what the differences really are. The first thing I'm going to look at is some curvature combs. And to do that, I'm going to come up to view. And under display, I'm going to use this relatively new tool called the Surface Curvature Comb. This is a pretty cool tool and I like using it. Uh, it will give us a pretty good idea of what's going on here. So first things first, I'm going to click in some curvature combs. And we'll take a look at what we have. All right, so for some pretty similar looking geometry, we've got pretty wide variety in curvature combs. Now if we take a look at this first one, we see if we zoom in on this corner, we can kind of see how those curves uh, match, uh, or don't match, rather. We have this sharp corner here, and you can kind of see that evident in the combs themselves. You can see how they kind of split off there. All right, so this would be that C0 continuity, or just simply contact continuity that Derek was talking about in his last video with that nice little sketch graphic that he had up for you guys. Let's move over to the second example. Now here we can see that we've got uh, a different scenario. We've got a fillet between these and we can see that the curvature does change pretty abruptly. So though the surface kind of appears smooth, it looks smooth, the curvature changes very quickly. Uh, and in fact it goes from one curvature right to a completely different curvature over one step. And you can see that jump pretty clearly in these curvature combs. So we see that it's kind of you know, smoothly coming along these curvature combs here and then it jumps straight up and comes along into a completely different curvature. So though the, the surface itself feels kind of smooth, it's really not a great transition. And this would be C1, this is a, a tangency situation. Now let's move to the third option slide over to this one and we see a pretty good uh, difference between one to the next now again this one is the same geometry as this one but I've added a fit spline so it's kind of smoothed out that curve and what we see is that the curvature combs look quite a bit different but we still have almost that same situation you know it's it, there's a very quick jump in what the curvature is actually doing so we may have smoothed the transition a little bit with that fit spline. Uh, we still didn't really get what we are after, and that would be, you know, that class A super smooth transition. And we see that um, more clearly in this last example. So if we move over to this guy, um, so, you know, moving from C2 to C3 or G2 or G3, that terminology is, is essentially the same. Um, what we see in this one is that the transition is very smooth. There's no you know, rapid jumps in the curvature combs. All right, and what that means is that essentially the rate of change in the curvature has been smoothed out. So here we see that the you know the curvature itself changes very abruptly in a C3 fully fully uh, class A surface. You'll have the rate of curvature that's also smooth. So it's the derivative of that that actually gets smoothed out. All right, we've got a nice smooth transition. So let's take a peek at these surfaces in the same way that Derek took a look at those surfaces in last week's video. So let's zoom out here and we'll take a look. First, let's take a look at the curvature. All right, now when we look at the curvature, we see, uh, again, we've got sharp contact here. Uh, they're just touching each other. Nothing more, nothing less. Again, C0. Now here we can actually very clearly see, you know, even more clearly than with the curvature combs, uh, what happens to that curvature in a tangent situation, a C1 situation. We've got the, the curve coming in, and then it will completely change to a different curvature, and then it pops back to the, the curvature on the other side. 
All right, now when I smooth that out with the fit spline, we see that the uh, transition is a little smoother. You don't see that really hard uh, switch from one curvature to the other. There is a little blend in there, but it's not great. And when we come back to you know one of these, and in this one I made just by you know by hand, kind of tracing with a spline. Uh, we see that the curvature uh, changes very smoothly. So there's no abrupt change in curvature. It's for the, the rate of change is smooth. And we see that kind of blend in and blend out. So you can see it very clearly when you actually flip on curvature itself. All right, let's take a look at zebra stripes and see if we can spot uh, any of the differences on here. Uh, so we can see it a little bit. Let me turn this down. Maybe we can spot the differences a little better, thin this out. Okay, and as we're moving this, you can actually see it a little bit in here, All right? So we can see it's not quite as, as smooth. The transition is a little nicer. All right, and certainly compared to, you know, contact, where Derek mentioned that discontinuity uh, and tangency, you can see that, you know, reading using the techniques that Derek showed last week. So we can kind of see that actually fairly clearly in the zebra stripes as well as in the curvature. All right, and typically if you're going with those, you know, those gorgeous, vast surfaces that are you know the skinnier Ferrari kind of things um, then then this is what you're really shooting for uh, and you can monitor that uh, you know in 2d with those splines but also uh, you know with the combs here we can get a pretty good idea of what's going on or right, we can read that and see uh, how well we're doing all right so I hope that gives you some insight into uh, curvature continuity and uh, kind of plays along with Derek's video from last week. And I hope we see you all next week. Thanks. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.